I don't want to live if I have to continue this pregnancy. This was my last chance. They closed all the window blinds and doors. It was like they were performing some sort of witchcraft. I was a nervous wreck. I was searching for any concoctions I could take to end the pregnancy. In countries across Europe, women are struggling to get abortions because of the pandemic. We found hospitals that are refusing to perform them and spoken to women as their attempts to end unwanted pregnancies turn desperate. When the pandemic hit Romania, hospitals were told to suspend non-emergency surgery, but nearly all of them stopped abortions. Daria is 19. My boyfriend tricked me. He pretending he was using a condom. I can't afford to have a child. I called around doctors, but they all told me that they weren't working during the pandemic. More and more hospitals are denying the rights of women to, to choose. They are trying to use the pandemic as an excuse. After a month, the government told hospitals to continue abortions. But when Andrada's team called around, they were met with this. In Bucharest, which is home of around 2 million people in the capital city of Romania, we found that, that none of the public hospitals are actually performing abortion. This is how desperate the situation is. So I was recommended someone who was retired who said that I could have an abortion at their home. I went to their apartment. They, they had this special room and, and a bed. I was very afraid. It was done using a vacuum, which I wasn't expecting. I'm, I'm still bleeding. I'm, I'm worried there might be something wrong. We found a similar situation in countries across Europe, in Italy, Croatia and Slovakia. In these countries, it was already difficult for women to get an abortion and this crisis has just put more obstacles in their way. In Slovakia, the abortion pill isn't available, surgery is the only option and doctors can refuse to perform the procedure for religious reasons. But during this crisis, it's become increasingly political. Very important people in the healthcare system in Slovakia said that this is not acute and urgent medicine and that this is not the right time for women to undergo abortion. Even the health ministry came out and said that abortions could pose a significant risk to women's lives and were not necessary health care. To say that it is so dangerous that we will not do it because of uh, virus, this is not true from the medical point of view. Are you recommending women not to have abortions during this time? No, not at all. I just say, if it's too dangerous from epidemiologic point of view and you can wait, of course you can wait. I didn't say, don't go for it. The government has been forced to clarify abortions should be considered essential, but support workers say the damage has been done. If a minister says that abortion is not recommended, many women and the public in general can read this as uh, a message that abortion is not possible. Then there are countries where abortion is either illegal or severely restricted. And women here rely on being able to travel to another country or order pills online. But travel restrictions and postal delays have made this impossible. Mia was stuck in Malta, waiting weeks for the pills she'd ordered. I was a nervous wreck, having anxiety attacks, thinking about suicide. I was searching for any concoctions I could take to end the pregnancy. I was drinking lots of alcohol punching myself in the stomach. At one point, I contemplated throwing myself down some stairs, 
hoping I could create some sort of trauma to induce a miscarriage. Mia's pills arrived with just days to spare, but others have been less fortunate. Coronavirus has taken an untenable situation for Polish women's rights and made it even more difficult. Last month, Mara took this call from Poland. The abortion pills didn't work. I'm still pregnant. I'm begging you to help me. We helped her get an appointment in England. Her plan was to drive to Germany and then sleep in her car because the hotels in Germany were shut and then fly out of Germany and get to England. Except what happened instead was she was in a car crash. I'm in hospital now. I, I don't want to live if I have to continue this pregnancy. This was my last chance. Wasted. God. I'm still crying. When she got to the clinic, she scanned two days over the legal limit in England. Um, and because of that, she is now forced to continue the pregnancy. And she either gets to have a baby that she did not want and cannot afford, or to have a baby and give it up for adoption. For many women, this pandemic has turned an unwanted pregnancy into a nightmare. And as restrictions on healthcare are slowly lifted, human rights organisations are concerned that these restrictions on abortion might not be 